Hello, good morning, my beloved family. This is Father Will Combs, serving at St. Mary Magdalene Parish, and I want to wish you a very happy Holy Saturday. Here we are before this beautiful image of Our Lady of Sorrows, and all you parishioners know, hopefully you know where we are. Here's a, a beautiful runaround of our church, and so here we are in the side chapel of this beautiful image of Our Lady of Sorrows, who's carrying the, the crown of thorns. It was, the, it was the night, the day before, turned black, and she said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And there she's at the foot of the cross, passion and compassion. And then the next day we can imagine Our Lady saying, my Jesus, my Jesus, why have you abandoned me? Why have you forsaken me? So many of you are in horrible grief because your loved ones whom you love so much are gone. Uh, many have our, our mothers and fathers who have lost their children. I was just on the phone right now to one of our parishioners who's horribly grieving just yesterday her brother died suddenly um, at the end of last month or February that is we had a, a far school funeral for Chase Flores a, se a seven-year-old who tragically died and me with the parents there's a lot of grief going on right now I myself miss my mom and perhaps many of you are, are know well the, the grief of our of Our Lady and Saturday is a day that we honor Our Lady Our Lady of Sorrows Many of you have children that are alive but are lost, children that are lost. They're just lost in sin, lost in, in a life of dissipation, and they, they've re rejected the faith. And you fear for what's going to happen to their soul. And there's a lot of grief going on over children that are lost, and perhaps children that have lost their, 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 their parents. And so there's a lot of grief going on. And so certainly crown means corona. Okay, the crown of thorns is even more meaningful this year with this coronavirus. And there's a lot of grief, a lot of losses going on. And it's so important today we learn to release our grief and give it to Our Lady, our beautiful mother. Uh, Jesus says, blessed are those who mourn, they shall be comforted. Blessed are those who weep, they shall be consoled. She's the mother of comfort and the mother of consolation. And she's with us in our grief. And, and through the grief, yesterday her son died, tomorrow her son will rise. And, and she can turn our tears into great consolation. The resurrection is coming, and, and the power of prayer. And so that's, that's why this is called the crown of roses. The rosary is so powerful when we can fly to Mary. We can fly and give ourselves to Mary and her most immaculate, pure heart to really renew our consecration as a parish, as families, to consecrate all our loved ones to Our Lady, all of our loved ones. Uh, it reminds me of this beautiful story in the life of Jesus. There's Jesus. He's looking up at the paralyzed man, and when he sees their faith, the faith of his friends, he says, paralyzed man, your sins are forgiven. Stand up and rise. And so when, when Jesus looks upon our faith, he can say to all our loved ones that we've lost, stand up and rise. You've been found because the prayers of your loved one has been answered. The power of prayer. So I want to invite you to pray this beautiful prayer. Perhaps you know it's called a Memorare, this beautiful prayer. It's been attributed to St. Bernard, St. Francis de Sales, prayed it every day. St. Mother Teresa of Calcutta, she prayed it hundreds of times, and miracles happened. It's a beautiful ancient prayer, and it goes like this. Remember, most gracious Virgin Mary, then never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, my mother. To thee do I come, before thee I stand, sinful and sorrowful. O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy, hear and answer me. Our ladies listening and ready to answer for those who have faith. The resurrection is coming.